Hey, this is Nate from Web801. Welcome to this tutorial today on how to set up a Stripe merchant account for your new business website. Today I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on the information that Stripe requires in order for you to set up your account. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing we do is go to stripe.com and then we'll see a lot of information here. Most of this information is for developers, so we don't need to worry about it too much. We'll just go to start now. We'll click on that and you'll see email, first name or full name, password. A couple things about password. You want to enter in characters like an exclamation point or an asterisk or a dollar sign. You want to enter in capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, just to make it strong. Once I've created the account, it will go through a few things. Um, I'm going to go to settings first. And it's, it's got a lot of information here. The first thing I'm going to go to is business settings and then account information. I'm going to give it an account name. And it's in the United States. Um, the phone verification, I could verify now. Um, I picked the time zone, which this is applicable for me. The public business name, so that's what I have registered with the state. Uh, my support email, my support phone number, uh, the business address, so I'll click use, yes, use business address, where I put the business name. I would put a short description, okay, uh, the website. Okay, then I click save. Next, I'll go back to settings again. I'll go back to business settings, bank accounts, and scheduling. Here's where I'm going to enter in like the payout schedule automatically every day or every week or every month. I usually keep it at day. That means as, as I start getting information or getting payments, it'll process those payments on a daily basis. I can click add bank account. Here, it's going to ask for the account holder name, the routing number, the account number, and then confirming the account number, which I won't enter in right now. I'll go back, back to, to settings, settings and, and it will ask me other information, tax details. So am I a corporation or an individual sole proprietor, an LLC? It will ask for my employee identification number or EIN, which I'll have to enter in there. And all that stuff will need to be there and then I'll just click update. I'll go to settings again, go back here, branding. This will allow me to put in like my brand color and accent color. I have to know those codes. I can also upload a logo here or a little icon or both. And so that will be helpful when people get receipts, they'll see that information. And then I can click activate account and it'll, uh, it'll have me verify my email. So I'll have to go to the client's email address, verify the email and click on a link and then that will verify. And for the most part, once I've done that, the, the account will then be active. There will be some other things that we'll do later on like getting our test API keys, activating our account, getting the live API keys. Those are things we enter in depending on what platform we're using. In many cases, I use WordPress and WooCommerce, and so that will be for another video. But that's how we set up our new Stripe account. Mm. 